All right, so in the last video, we made our change to get the kind of the building portion set up to where this is a separate actor for us to visualize. Now what I want to do is I want to set it up so when we press a key, we actually are going to spawn a foundation at that location. And I kind of want to go ahead and get rid of that line tray. So let's set draw debug at false on line 103 and our tick. So just to get rid of kind of that little annoying red thing since we know we're good to go. Okay, so to make it spawn, what we have to do is we want to go ahead and store a T subclass of of BP underscore building inside our building visual class to make it just a little bit easier to spawn with. So what we're going to do is we can copy that entire U property. And we don't need blueprint read only. And instead we're just going to go ahead and do T subclass of. We're going to for declare a building. And this is going to be our building class. And then it probably wouldn't hurt to have the most recent thing placed down stored but i'm not too worried about storing the actor as of now instead what i want to do is i want to have a function here so void let's do spawn building and that's just going to kind of take i guess care of everything that we need and here we also want to do a check to make sure one if we're not hidden in game then we should be able to spawn it because that Otherwise, if we're hidden in game, obviously we are not looking at anywhere valid or anything like that. So we have no real way to get our position properly. So anyways, let's do spawn building. And here we want to do a check. So first of all, if building class and if we search for hidden in game, we should have some form of, let's see. it is hidden get the literal value of e hidden so let's check is hidden and then i want to check set actor hidden in game and see if it sets is hidden okay so it's changing b hidden so that means we're good to go there it's gonna now uh, check what we want okay so oops sorry if the building class is valid and we are not hidden then we want to build so from here we can do our spawn actor so if, uh, just in case we do want to store it for whatever reason. Uh, actually, instead, let's just do get world on actor. And here we want to do that class. So a building and then the class, which is building class like that. And we want to go ahead and include our building class. So let's go ahead and include building.h. And now we can actually pass in the remaining parameters to set the transform. So we have the location. Whoops. We have a couple of different ones. So we have the first one, just our params, not worried about it. This one, which is our params again, again, not worried. And then the next one, we have our location and rotation. And then this last one here, we have a transform. So I want to do the, actually the just spawn the transforms. So the second parameter is going to be get actor transform and then that should spawn it you know obviously where we want now we just have to set up a way to trigger this so if we go to our base building character.h come down here to our last public section we can go ahead and do another function that we want to have it's called on building create the definition and if b what's it in build mode and builder is valid then what we want to do is want to do builder on building and we're going to have to have some form of way to figure out which uh, one we want to spawn but that will end up being taken care of inside of the builder so inside of building visual that class that'll kind of handle everything for us all right and that we're, we're that we are good to go let's do a relaunch and recompile Oops, I realized we got to change the return type to void. Let's do that real quick. And then recompile and relaunch. Okay, let's open up the assets again. And we are pretty much good to go. Let's check our building visual class. Which we should already have. Let's see. Did we set that up? Alright, we have it called building class. 
here it is. So we want to set it up to BP building. Then our third person character, when we press E instead of doing the destroying and all that, what I'm going to do, let's actually move this on up, is I want to call the function on building. And that should kind of take care of everything for us. So you got to make sure it's E and B. I actually want to change that to F just for the sake of remembering. So if I press B, here we have our object. I press F. As you can see, it spawns another one. However, it's the triple stack, and that's due to what we have inside of our building class in Begin Play. So I'm going to remove that and actually remove that arrow. So that arrow is actually our actor that we place, which is our building actor. So I press B, press F. There we have, why do we have a triple stack? Let's see, BP building. On the begin play, oh wait, we're doing something in the uh, begin play, aren't we? Yes, we are, that explains it. Okay, so we're spawning three of them here. Instead, all I wanna do is add an instance. So I'm going to take all this right here, go ahead and just simply delete. And I don't know if it'll spawn an instance by default, so let's actually check that. So let's see real quick, let's do our live coding. Press B, press F. Okay, so it does not. So we want to make sure we paste in and add an instance. However, we need to add a transform, so that is just going to be the location of the building. So we can do get actor, or sorry, get relative. Let's just try get actor transform. Or actually, better yet, we don't want it to have any offset now that I'm thinking about it, because this should be a relative. Uh, no, it just says instance transform. I guess we'll see. Let's try passing in just an empty F transform and see kind of roughly what that does. Press play, go to build mode, press F, and there we go. So as you can see, it spawned it as we need it. And we can place down as many as we wish. And then I can get right out of build mode, however I wish. And we are good to go. Alrighty. So, we now have our basic for the initial foundation spawning. And now that we have that, I guess what we can start doing later on is work on some way to cycle the actors, or not the actors, the buildings that we wish to spawn. And I have a couple ideas on how to go about doing all that. I just gotta kinda come up with a, just come up with a plan to handle everything. So anyways, that is gonna be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you wanna help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.